What is going on guys? If you don't know me, I am that orange GT and honestly you guys probably don't know me because it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm back in it and I currently have my next project right behind me. So speaking of which, before I get into the video, uh, let me know some new channel names in the description below, correction, in the comments below because uh, obviously that orange GT, I still have it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about selling it. So if you are interested in that car, let me know, but I currently have this car and that's going to be what I'm shooting the content on today. So obviously by the video name, you obviously know I have a 2022 Golf R and this is actually one of the first ones in LA and I'm super happy to have it. And uh, I'm actually did a couple things to it already and I'm going to walk you around the car right now and show you that. But for now, here is the walk around of my new 2022 Golf R. So here she is. And as you can tell, this is not a stock color. So this is actually a wrap on the car. And before I go recommending the people who wrap this car, uh, there's still a couple of issues I want to get sorted out on this wrap before I go ahead and totally recommend them. But that being said, uh, this is a white Golf R that I wrapped in a sky blue. And I think it looks absolutely stunning, definitely compared to stock. But uh, enough of me talking about the color. Let's walk around the car and uh, show you guys more in depth some of my favorite things about this new 2022 Golf R. So one of my favorite things that I like about this car is going to be the stock wheels. And honestly, for stock, they look pretty nice in person. So uh, I'm, I was thinking about blacking these out. Uh, if you guys want to see these wheels blacked out, let me know in the in the comments down below because i do think they do have potential to be blacked out and i actually there is a, a vinyl kit that you can put on these wheels that blacks them out so i'm thinking about doing that but anyways moving to the front of the car one of my favorite things is going to be this blue uh, like strip that goes right with the light bar and you can really see it when this car is white with this car being blue it's really hard to see at the current moment but it's definitely a really noticeable thing in person also one of my favorite things is right here it's like you can really see the detail they put into the front of this car and i think it looks absolutely stunning in person like even in videos it does not do this car justice at all but like hopefully when i get some modifications on here it's going to start looking a little better but anyways moving to the side of the car there's really nothing special on the side really i just uh really like the wheels on the side of this car and uh i also wrapped the door handles uh black so i think it looks pretty good black uh i'm not sure what just let me know you guys think in the comments down below what you think about that. I think it complements the black accents. Like the mirror is black and the door handle is black. And uh, if I put the black accents on the wheels, I think that's going to look pretty good as well. And uh, another thing I did is I wrapped the roof black as well. So this part is glass. This part is wrap. And I think it blends in super well, especially tying it into the back. Because this is also black as well. And this is actually, you know, factory. This is not a wrap on that. So I think that looks really good. And then moving on to the back of the car, this is one of my favorite, uh, I guess, parts about this car is because it looks way more aggressive in person than it does on video. Like you're not gonna be able to see how big that diffuser actually is, but it's actually a decently sized diffuser. And I like how it has quad tips from the factory. One thing I don't like, however, is that they're uh, chrome. I don't like these chrome tips and uh, it's gonna be one of the things I, I actually change next. I'm thinking about doing a resonator delete and I'm gonna change the exhaust tips as well. So if you wanna see that content, stay tuned for that. Cause I'm really excited to be one of the first people to do a resonator delete on this car. That being said, let me go ahead and show you the interior of this car. So obviously if you guys have been following Golf R content, you guys know what a Golf R looks like on the inside and this is no exception. So uh, I'm just gonna show you my favorite things about the Golf R interior. And as I was telling you guys earlier, you can tell the car was white and I wrapped it the blue. And uh, that's because I was looking for a blue one and uh, there was just none out there. So I wasn't picky. I just wanted a DSG. That was my biggest thing. And this car has a DSG. So honestly, you can wrap your car, you know, any color you want. So if you guys are trying to find a specific color for your Golf R, I would just say, you know, just take whatever one you can get and then uh, just wrap it whatever you want. My first favorite thing that I like about this interior is going to be the steering wheel. Now, I just like how it looks. I like the size of it. I like the way it feels in your hand. Like, it's a correct thickness. Like, it's a great shape. And it's just great quality leather. And I just think it's a great steering wheel for this car. With that in mind, my second favorite thing is going to be these paddle shifters. Now, I think that they are a pretty good size. I've seen some reviews that have some mixed reviews about it saying that they're not big enough or the quality isn't that good. But... Honestly, it's a golf. Like, you're not going to get the best quality. You should know that. And uh, it's a pretty decent size. Like, compared to my hand, like, it's a pretty decent size paddle shifter. And I, and I think that they get the job done pretty well. And to show you guys my next favorite thing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hit the start button here and just show you. 
it's gonna be the dash. Now the way I set mine up, I set mine up so I have the gear in the middle, the speed on the on the right, and the music on the left. And I think that looks extremely good. I think that, you know, I got really used to the climate. I play about 700 miles on this car so far. And uh, I think that this, this system works pretty well. I haven't had any problems with mine, like people were saying. I know some people were saying they had problems with the system. Um, I, there is a couple problems I do have with this car, and I'm going to go ahead and say that in another video. So if you guys want to see the problems I have with my Golf R, definitely stay tuned for that next video. And uh, I'll definitely cover that in more depth. But uh, right now, it's just a quick walk around of my 2022 Golf R. And uh, yeah, just letting you know like my favorite things about it. And uh, I guess I'll save the complaints for another video. And with that in mind, my last favorite thing about this car is going to be this sunroof. Now, it might not look like much, but the fact that there is a sunroof in this car is a big deal for a Golf R. Now, this has not been a feature that was in the last Golf R. It was one of the main reasons why I didn't even like that car. It just made it seem like a little cheaper. And I know some people don't even want the sunroof because of weight reasons, but honestly, it just makes your driving experience a little better, in my opinion. Especially living in California where the weather is like this, it just makes having that sunroof a little bit nicer. So, that's going to be my favorite things on the interior. So that's gonna be my quick walk around of the Golf R. So I do have a lot more content planned with this car. Like I said, I am gonna be getting a raising Enderly and new exhaust tips on this car probably next week. And I do, I am gonna order that vinyl for the wheels, try to block them out and see how that turns out. So if you guys wanna see me do that, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And again, like I, I definitely appreciate you guys' support. And if you guys are previous supporters from when I had my Mustang, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.